Hello, hello, good people. This is your guy, Mr. Educator, Mr. Communicator, Mr. Free Thinker, coming back at you once again from the Lone Star State. Once again, once again, with another edition and a continuation of the Media Mike Speaks. The emails are rolling in and I can't keep up. So I'm going to take a break after this because we have to talk again. And as you see here, the Biden administration to announce a VAX mandate for federal employees on Thursday. This is a report coming in from CNN. This is probably going to be a three in one. So I have to get this done. Good people, it is happening. So we're going to get to it because this is some pretty serious stuff here. So the Biden administration is expected to announce a vaccine mandate for federal employees on Thursday. CNN first reported that the announcement was coming on Thursday. The move, the move would affect an estimated 2.1 million people. CNN reported that the Biden administration would announce a vaccine mandate or regular testing requirement for federal workers as early as Thursday. Now, here's the key here. They said a vaccine mandate or regular testing. You did how you missed that, didn't you? So, so it's not going to be totally 110% a requirement but the federal testing is what's going to be the kicker because I do believe that test can be manipulated so uh, President Joe Biden initially said on Tuesday that the federal government is weighing whether to implement a vaccine mandate for the entire federal workforce as the U.S. grapples with a rise in COVID-19 cases Mm -hmm. that's under investigation right now Biden said in a response to a reporter's question an estimated 2.1 million People work for the federal government. I used to be one of those individuals. According to the Office of Personnel Management, only Walmart has more employees. Now, this move would follow a recent decision to require vaccines for state workers in California by Governor Gavin Newsom and a similar plan for city workers announced by New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio. And we're going to talk about him in a minute. Earlier this week, the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs mandated that 115,000 healthcare workers be vaccinated. Many private businesses around the U.S. are following suit, and that's going to set the precedent. The White House did not immediately respond to insiders' requests for a comment, and they probably won't. Now, let's take a good look here at the U.S. Department of Veteran Affairs. Along with local municipalities, you know, they're going to look at pushing this and according to the Department of Justice, people must be informed of the option to accept or refuse administration of an emergency use vaccine. Now, currently, the three vaccines in, in use in the U.S. all have emergency use authorization from the Food and Drug Administration. Full approval of the vaccines are expected soon from the agency. So they're still working out the kinks. Now, at this point, good people, all is not lost to a certain degree. Because I do want to give you a little bit of hope here before I move on here. Workers are able to seek medical or religious exemptions from getting the COVID-19 vaccine. Some employers are also offering a so-called soft mandate that allows unvaccinated employees to report to work. However, they must wear a mask and submit to regular COVID-19 testing. That's the key. And submit to regular COVID-19 testing. That's the kicker, you see, which will push toward a mandate. That's what I find interesting. <laughs> it's all in the wording. But this is what's this is what's curious here. Take a look at this. CDC says fully vaccinated people spread the Delta variant and should wear masks. This new science is worrisome. <laughs> now, I'm going to read this. The CDC updated its guidelines on Tuesday to recommend masks indoors even for vaccinated people. The Delta variant makes it easier Let me read that again. The Delta variant makes it easier for vaccinated people to transmit the virus, the CDC said. Vaccinated and unvaccinated people infected with Delta may have similar viral loads. But what if you're not affected with Delta? So those who, let's read this again. The Delta variant makes it easier for vaccinated people to transmit the virus, the CDC said. So why are we going after unvaccinated people? See, that's the question. Why are we going after unvaccinated people like with the vengeance? If the Delta variant makes it easier for vaccinated people to transmit the virus, according to the CDC. 
things to make you go, hmm. I wish they'd make up their mind. But anyway, but however, I hate to spoil your fun. Breaking news, breaking news, good people, breaking news. This is serious. New York City mayor says voluntary vaccine stage is over. I think he's lost his mind. Oh, no, I don't think he has. But I think he has, but I don't think he has. Anyway, I think he's just following orders. New York City Mayor Bill de Blasio announced tonight, this is tonight in real time, MSNBC, that the time for voluntary getting the China virus vaccine is now over. China virus vaccine, the Delta is something different, so he needs to get it together. Uh, he quotes, we've got to shake people at this point and say, come on now, he said, we could not have been more kind and compassionate as a country. Are you speaking for the country now? Uh, oh, okay. Free testing everywhere you turn. Incentives, friendly, warm embrace. The voluntary phase is over, he declared. Voluntary alone doesn't work. It's time for mandates, unquote. Did he just declare war on the people of New York or America? Things that make you go, hmm. Good people, words of advice is that we are going to have to be mentally strong in the upcoming weeks and months to come. The coronavirus is going to stick around forever, I do believe. Get ready for the new normal because things are about to get serious. Now, I predict more lockdowns are coming and most likely power outages in the winter. Will there be pushback from, America, from the American people? Yes, and I do believe from around the world also. Is the government prepared for this? Yes. I would know. I worked for them for 15 years in our nation's armed forces, of course. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. You see, good people, the people in the U.S. and around the world, my professional opinion, never should have let the lockdowns happen. That was the test run. Now, it has begun. There's an old saying, it is easier to deceive a man than to convince him that he has been deceived. This is your guy, Mr. Educator, Mr. Communicator, Mr. Free Thinker. Subscribe, share, and like to keep me rocking on the mic. Stay safe and have a good night. And get a passport ASAP so you can take flight.